you guys welcome back i have just finished recording the last video for adam hart mother and just it was so good it was so good and i can't believe i never sat through it all the way through before it was so good it just and i was saying this towards the end of the last video i didn't want to get too much into because it that's more like a big picture thing what i'm going to talk about is i feel like as a band they're really coming together. Like they're really coming together when they're jam when they're in the little jam sessions, when David's playing on top and they're all just fucking like you know they're having a good time. You know they're playing they're having a great time. And I just really feel like they're all getting more comfortable with each other and just how all this is going. At least that's like that's the viewer's perspective. Like that's what I'm hearing. I, I feel like I'm hearing them become becoming more in tune, more in sync with each other as just people on that soul level, just as a musician. And I, I just, I really like feeling that progression. I'm so glad I'm going in order. I feel like that's, that's the only way to do it. I, I, I don't know. I feel like if you're going to, if you're going to listen to Pink Floyd at all, you got to do it in order because this, this is just so just amazing. Like in, in, um, Umaguma, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, honestly, I liked the album personally. I know it's not like, if someone was like, hey, what's the first album I should get into by Pink Floyd? I'm not going to tell them Umaguma by any stretch of the imagination. But as a, a fan, I, I, I liked it. But with that said, it did feel really like just like all over the place, you know, not counting the first half. I'm talking about the studio half all over the place in this album. It just felt more it felt more focused. It felt like they're kind of pulling from all directions, you know, and they're bringing it to one central like thing. And I just really liked that. And I feel like I was really able to also just acknowledge in this album, especially like all of the instruments like coming together and like I'm able to feel how they're all playing their part. And I feel like once you can listen to Pink Floyd that way, it's just, it, it's never the same. And I feel like there are a couple, like, stages of t in terms of being, like, a Pink Floyd fan. I feel like, you know, you, you get into it, you're like, wow. Like, I've heard, like, let's say you, you probably hear the hits at first, right? You're like, this is really good. I'm going to get more into it. And then you get to a point where you're like you, you're like, you know, they're one of the best bands that have ever existed. You're like, wow, this is serious business. And you kind of look at them as, like, not like gods, but you, like, almost idolize them very heavily for a moment. And maybe for a long time, maybe some of us, some of you, some of us still do, which is okay. But then you get to a point where you're like, they're human too. Like I'm, I'm human. They're human. We're all human. So like, they're like they're they're not like, they're they're just people. And then once you kind of acknowledge that, I feel like you're really able to truly appreciate the arts they're producing for you because you're like, you're not much different than me. We're all in the same boat here. And I feel like when you watch interviews of them. They're they're overall they seem like very humble people and when they speak they speak very intelligently and they speak very humbly and I feel like I, I really respect that and so once you acknowledge that they're people just like you and me, I feel like that's when you're able to go wow like a human made this like this is like this is us like this is our species kind of like projecting like whatever their interpretation of the reality surrounding them is and I feel like that's just so crazy like. It's just so good. I feel like I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope we're all on the same page here. I get pretty deep into some of this stuff, but dang guys, I don't know. I'm just so excited to get to keep keep going through. I know the next album I'm pretty sure is Obscured by Clouds, if I'm not mistaken. And I know some of you guys said um, that it's one of the most overlooked albums by Pink Floyd because it was right before Dark Side of the Moon. And I feel like I agree because. I don't get me wrong. I've heard of Obscured by Clouds. I've heard it a couple times. Like I've heard it mentioned a couple times, I'll say. But I've never heard any of the songs of, of Obscured by Clouds. I haven't heard anything of it. I haven't like thought about it, saying I listen to it. Because like, I heard, whenever I hear about it, I'm like, well, I've never even heard of that until just now. So that's interesting. you know. So I don't know. I feel like I'm really excited to get into that next album. I don't know. Because Obscured by Clouds, just the name just sounds really cool. I don't know. All right, guys, go ahead and give me your interpretations of that full album below. Let me know if you think I got out of it, what, need, what I needed to get out of it. Um, let me know if you guys are excited for the next series. And um, with that said, I think I'll do a Pink Floyd single on Friday because I don't want to start a series on Friday. I feel like that's kind of weird. I feel like I want to start a series on Monday. So I might do a single on Friday. So, guys, let me let me know down below which Pink Floyd single I should do for Friday, and I'll, I'll make it happen. With that said, guys, I hope you're having a great life. hope you're having a great day, and I will see you guys next time.